Hey guys, welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. I'm Mike and today we're looking at DJI's all new OM5. Now the OM5 is a smart phone gimbal or stabilizer. Um, it's their fifth generation of this. It used to be called Osmo and they dropped that. Now it's just OM. Um, I did the OM4 video, but now uh, it does all the same great stuff. A couple new tricks up its sleeve, but they went a little bit crazy and they turned this thing into one of the most advanced selfie sticks uh, ever to exist. Now, I don't know if anybody was asking for that feature or not, but they went ahead and did it. It was a risky move. And today we're gonna find out if that's actually useful and uh, or if it's just like clickbait for the next YouTuber thumbnail, because I see this in every single thumbnail. I'm not sure I'm convinced that that's a feature I really wanted, but we're gonna go through all the features of the OM5 today on this episode of Unbox Warehouse. So before we go over all the features of the OM5, let's talk about what makes this bad boy tick. The OM5 is a handheld three axis gimbal that can stabilize your smartphone using DJI's smartest algorithms to date. And the OM5 can change how it's stabilized based on the activity you're doing. Just like the previous version, it's extremely portable and foldable. It also brings back the unique magnetic attachment to quickly take your phone on and off. Active track has been upgraded to 4.0, giving you even more control while tracking subjects. So DJI, I'm not sure if you've ruined the OM5 by adding this little self, oh my goodness, this selfie stick feature. Oh, it's, it's freaking out at me now. But we're gonna give it a shot and see if it's good, if it's better than what the OM4, which I love that device. And we're gonna go over some of the features right now. Okay, so if you don't know what a gimbal is yet, welcome to the 21st century. You probably have never tried to film something before, but um, you're a little late to the party because in my personal opinion, I think these smartphone type gimbals are kind of fading out. That's why DJI is kind of putting gimmicks on here to try to get you excited, but the stabilization that comes already built into these advanced cell phones with these great cameras is so good that you can almost hand hold this and get really good usable stabilized footage. So I'm not sure how long these are gonna last. Kind of like those GPS's you put in your car. Um, well, as soon as there's a GPS on your phone, you don't need that anymore. They, they, they're worthless. So we're gonna go out and try to use this and see if it's even better than just using the phone by itself and go over all of the features. The first one we're gonna talk about is the panorama. This is something that you really need a gimbal to do uh, properly. You can do it handheld, but it'll have to crop in a lot more. And the DJI OM5 can do it automatically. Here's how you do that. All right, so here we are at downtown Jacksonville Riverwalk. And the first thing we're gonna do is get a beautiful panorama of downtown using the automatic panoramic photo feature mode of the OM5. So let's show you how that works. I think I'm about to use the top of this uh, trash can. This will be some urban photography. Uh, I'll just see if I can bounce this on top of the trash can. There we go, pano. It's taking all the shots automatically. And then it stitches them together into something cool like this. So, so there you go, super easy to do a pano shot. That was 240 degree pano. Now there are some other kind of types of pano shots you can get with the OM5. Um, you can do a full square, like nine square shot, all stitched together in one. But right now I wanna talk about the tracking because that's one of the things that makes the OM5 an amazing device to use is the tracking. Uh, for example, right now I can track the cameraman, Josh. It is tracked on you. So no matter what I do, no matter where I move this, it stays stuck right on you. You're not gonna be able to keep up with me. <laughs> look, I don't even have to look, and my framing is going to be perfect. Let's see if I cross this pole right here. Oh, look at, look, did you see that? It got him after the pole. That is so cool. So it's even losing you and then finds you in the shot and keeps that tracking. So now the tracking also works in selfie mode. So if you click this one button right here on the controller, it instantly goes into selfie mode and I didn't even push anything and it's already tracking me. You can see 
gorgeous and this is one of those times that I guess this little uh, this little extension thing could come in handy because look I can get this super wide tracking shot I look really silly but you know there you go Um, next, we're going to talk about kind of a gimmicky thing. I don't know. Maybe you like it. I probably won't ever use it, but I'll show you how to use it. It's called the Clone Me Pano, and here it goes. All right, so next we're going to use the Clone Me feature. Like I said, it's a little gimmicky. I'm going to show you how it works. It's basically a pano, but it pauses and waits for you to jump back in the frame so it can clone you in the shot three different times. So I'm basically going to set it down right here and push start, and then I'm going to go jump in the frame. I can hear it, it's got a nice audible tone. Um, but let's check that out. Oh yeah, that worked good. So I got a nice little pano shot um, of me three times in a frame. Like I said, not something I'm gonna do, but maybe you like it. So what is next on the list? So pretty unique, huh? You can put yourself in the shot three times, very easy. You just jump into frame and bam, you have a very unique pano that you probably couldn't do if you didn't own a device like the OM5. Um, next up, we're gonna talk about the dynamic zoom or dolly zoom. This is the Hitchcock effect. Um, I love this feature. Some people think it's overused in film and television, but it creates a real spooky, eerie type uh, scene when your background is getting compressed, but your subject stays in the same spot. It's called dynamic zoom. Check it out. we have hyperlapse and time lapse. The only difference between these two really is in a hyperlapse, you're moving the camera through space, like walking through a crowd or towards some building or object and you get that super fast movement. Or a time lapse, the camera kind of stands still or moves around a scene, but the camera's in a fixed position. But they both do the same thing. They take a long period of time and compress it down to a short period of time. But this is one of my favorite things to do is to go down here to downtown Jacksonville and get these gorgeous moving time lapses. So check it out. So here we're gonna test out the time lapse feature. Um, I've gotten gorgeous time lapses here before. The last one I took at night, uh, I'll show it to you right now. Um, it was really gorgeous. Uh, I tried to catch the sunset and then get over this blue bridge, but now we're gonna do a daytime one. There's some dolphins out here. That's good, you see the dolphins? Um, this place is packed full of dolphins. The St. John River in Jacksonville is so many dolphins. So we're gonna set this thing up over here on this dock and get the same exact time lapse we did last time, but this time during the day. Seriously, it doesn't get any easier to make gorgeous time lapses than when you have uh, an OM5 or even OM4. They're all great, but the OM5 does it beautifully. I love making time lapses. Next up, we're gonna talk about spin shot. Um, once again, kind of like the dolly zoom or the dynamic zoom, it's kind of a gimmicky thing, but great for adding some action and dynamic camera movements. It basically spins the camera uh, around a central axis and, and gives you these really cool shots like this. You see how easy it is to create some really cool stuff with your cell phone and an OM5? This one comes in at about $159 right now, so it's, it's, it's a little bit more expensive than the previous models, but it does have this fancy dancy uh, little extension arm here. So I'm gonna go out right now and see if I can find some interesting ways to use this gimmicky thing that I don't even really care about in the first place. I'm thinking about some really cool low angle shots or maybe from high up coming down, but we're gonna go out right now and get some really cool shots using the extension feature and see if it's gimmicky or it's actually something that was very smart for DJI to add on to the OM5.
And one last thing um, that I don't use personally, but you might, is it does have some um, features in here where it can automatically edit and help coach you through building a little sequence. It'll tell you like, do a spin shot, get someone's low feet, you know, and you take these little few second clips, it adds the music, it adds it together, something you can post on social media. Not something I use. Once again, I think that's kind of gimmicky and I don't know a lot of people that use those automatic editing features. People generally like to have that kind of control. So that's the OM5. We're gonna go over my final thoughts and then finish this bad boy up. All right, so here's the part where I might ruin my chances of working with DJI ever again in the future. So DJI has worked hard to innovate an already great device. Adding the telescoping handle was a great idea on paper, but to be honest, I found it a little extra. And the fact that you have to change the angle of it manually makes it even more awkward. Now I did say a lot of great things about the OM5 in this video, and I stand by that. I guess what I'm trying to say is, for less money, you can still get the OM4, which is a great device, and get 95% of the features that are included in the OM5. And to be completely honest, I feel like I had way less trouble when using the OM4. It seemed like I always got the shot on the first try. It seems like I had more struggles with the OM5, trying multiple times to get the framing right, or just getting that perfectly smooth tracking shot. So if you think you don't need the extendable arm, do yourself a favor, save some trouble, save some money, and get the DJI OM4. I'll leave a link to that video below. All right guys, that's the DJI OM5. Um, like I said, it's a great device, but to be completely honest, unless you want this telescoping handle here, um, I prefer the way this OM4 feels. The handle's a little girthier. I just feel like it's more substantial and um, it, they both fold up small, but um, if you don't need this, just, just don't even bother. This costs a lot more money. This is like 159 and I think this is like either 120 or 130 right now for the OM4. I'll put a link to both of these below, but you can't go wrong with either one of them, but save yourself the money and get the OM4. Um, sorry, DJI, that's my honest opinion. If you wanna see more videos, check out one of these right here and we'll see you next time right here on Unbox Warehouse. Now, it's time to make my clickbait thumbnail.